So all these updates is what's causing the, the take up of a lot of your the hard drive space, correct? So a person needs what a, a terabyte or more now. Yeah, I mean, as I was saying, see this computer that this model that you have is built more for speed and cloud storage rather than uh, you know storage in the computer itself. Okay, it has five twelve. Right. That's that's not enough. Okay. Five twelve. So this is uh, keeping in mind, uh, you know, people who who go to college or uh, you know don't have much to store or they store uh, their information on uh, the college cloud or school or anything, you know so, so this, this, these models are made uh, keeping that segment in mind oh okay i thought this was more for gaming and so forth so okay. no no this this laptop is not for gaming oh xps isn't for oh okay no although it is an xps model i agree with you but uh, all the xps is not not meant for gaming Okay. If you're planning to store it on the computer, uh, then I would suggest you get an external hard drive. I'll tell you why. Uh, as I was explaining before, the latest update in Windows that has just been launched in uh, November, just about a month back, that update uh, which is 1709. It's a very large update. It's a very, very huge update. It's got a lot of flaws as well. Oh, okay. A lot of flaws in that update. Uh, but I'm sure uh, Microsoft knows about it. They're working you know, day in and day out to correct the flaws. It'll take some time. Okay, so because mm. of that, uh, because of those flaws, you know, a lot of computers around the world have been affected. Mm. And store all the programs on an external hard drive. Uh, it's quite obvious. Mm -hmm. But some programs can be moved. Windows has that option where some programs can be moved onto the external hard drive. Okay. Right. So, but if you're looking store or to store uh, pictures and documents and things like that, it's better you do it on the uh, on an external hard drive and leave the internal space as free as as much as possible. Because again, if the internal storage gets full or it's about to be full, there's very little space, and if new updates come in, they will not get installed, and you know, again. It'll be back to square one. No, it'll say installing update. It'll get stuck and say there's no storage space and errors and whatnot. Well, that's why I'm saying I'm, I bought a computer, and gave you all my my needs, and now I'm being told that the computer that I spent a great deal of money on is not at all what my needs were. So it's a little disconcerting and quite sad. It's going to be full very soon with all these Microsoft updates. And that my use of the system, even if I don't put anything on it, is not going to be to last the four years my warranty even is for due to all the updates that are coming because my hard drive is 512. That's a little sad. No, it is. Again, you know, stop the updates from Windows uh, to update any kind of drivers on this computer. Okay, so no driver updates at this time. Right, although it'll show that uh, drivers are available. For example, NVIDIA shows display driver. But I've, uh, internally, I've turned that off Windows. Okay. It, it will uh, download the drivers, but it will not install them. You know, the blue screens that you were getting before was because of the uh, because of faulty drivers. Okay, so once again, uh, if you get any updates from Support Assist, for now, do not do it. Uh, because those updates, some of the updates like the BIOS, mm -hmm. and yeah, BIOS will show up uh, quite frequently. Do not do the BIOS update. Okay. Okay. Uh, because in the last couple of months, we've seen that uh, the BIOS update has caused instability in a lot of on a lot of computers. So probably it, uh, the latest BIOS version would be withdrawn very soon. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing that you need to avoid. Otherwise. You know, uh, everything should be fine.